Good morning children. Hope all are fine. In the previous video, we learned part 1 of the chapter The Best Christmas Present in the World. Before entering into part 2, quick recap of part 1 and the characters of the story. Jim McPherson, he was the leader of his English troop before getting into the war. He was a school teacher in Dorset present in the west part of the England. He was very brave and courageous as he was leading his troop. Kind and open-hearted person as he shared his time and happiness with enemy army. Also a loving and caring person due to his love and affection towards his wife shown in the letter. Connie McPherson she is the wife of Jim McPherson. After her husband went to war, she spent her whole life in a belief that she will see him again. We found her a woman with extreme love for her husband, Hans Wolf. He was the captain of German troop. He was worked in an orchestra in Düsseldorf before the war. The narrator of the story went to a junk shop and purchased a roll top desk which was in a very bad condition. The narrator started its repairing work on Christmas Eve and found a letter in its drawer. He read the letter. It was from Jim McPherson to his wife Connie McPherson. In his letter, Jim describes his experiences at the war to his wife Connie through a letter. Part 2 of the story. This chapter that we are going to talk about was the war between British and Germany in 1914 on the Christmas Eve. And on the Christmas Eve, both the enemies planned to celebrate Christmas instead of fighting. Connie McPherson, whose husband Jim, was the soldier in the same army and Jim one of his letter he promised Connie that he will be back on the Christmas Eve but unfortunately he could not come back he died for years she kept Jim's last letter very close to her heart she kept the letter in roll top desk but one day her house was burnt in a fire. She was shifted to a nursing home. This particular desk where she had kept her husband's letter was found by the narrator. While reading the letter, he found that Jim McPherson was the leader of the England army and he described that England and German were engaged in a war. But on the Christmas morning, a wonderful thing happened. First, German soldiers waved the white flag and wishes Happy Christmas to English soldiers. And the same response was given by English also. The leaders, rather than fighting, they shared their ideas and feelings with each other and celebrated Christmas by eating, laughing, talking and drinking. After that, they played football match in which Germans won. In the night, both the troops sang carols and had a peaceful Christmas. Here one thing you want to remember, the nickname for the British leader is Tommy. The nickname for the German leader is Fritz. Part 3 The narrator then decided to give this letter to Jim's wife back. He went to the address which was written on the letter. There he comes to know that she was 101 years old lady. Her house was burnt in a fire and she was shifted to a nursing home. He went to the nursing home and he met her and kept the letter in front of her. Connie was very very old 
and not in a stable state of mind. And at that particular moment, when she saw the letter, she mistook the narrator as her husband Jim. And there was happiness on her face. She asked him to sit near and she hugged and kissed him. She told to read the letter once again as she wanted to hear her husband's voice. At last, she called him to have a cup of tea and marzipan cake which her husband liked very much. This happiness was the best Christmas present in the world for Connie McPherson. Have you understood the story children? Okay. In the next video, we can go through the lesson and learn some more difficult words and their meanings. Meanwhile, read the lesson and try to understand the story. Bye-bye. Meet you in the next video.